Chuck, here's a topic I don't think we talk enough about. Dimensions. Dementia, huh? No, no. <laughs> you may have heard that we live in three dimensions and time is a fourth dimension. Okay. And evidence that it really matters is even if you don't know it explicitly, you know it implicitly that time really matters. Because I can say to you, Chuck, I'll meet you tomorrow at Starbucks. Right. And what's your reply to me? I'll be there all day waiting, man, because I got <laughs> nothing to do. I got nothing to do. So I'll just be at Starbucks. I'll start off in the morning with some breakfast, maybe a little muffin. And then I'll just stay there until you get there. Okay, sorry. I'll meet you at Starbucks at 12 noon. Okay. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I thanks. <laughs> yeah. appreciate that. I gave you a location in space, and you had to wait until I gave you a location in time. Time. Right. And that intersection of space and time is called your world line. Whoa, love it. It's called a world line. World line. So for our world lines to intersect, we have to be at the same place at the same time. See, now, fellas, if you're smart and you're single, you will hold this one in the back, put it away in your back pocket. Okay. <laughs> Girl, I just need you as a part of my world line. You know ah! <laughs> This is rap, rap lines from, exactly. from relativity. <laughs> exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> and let's reverse that. I'll say, oh, Chuck, I'll meet you tomorrow at noon. North America, good for you. Right, right. Thank you, Earth. Yeah. Earth. <laughs> is that all right? <laughs> yeah. So we know intuitively you need both the time and the space coordinates conjoined in order to actually meet. Absurd variance on that would be you cross the street and 10 minutes later, a truck barrels through in that same location. Right. So you were in the same location as the truck, but not at the same time. You wouldn't say, oh, man, I almost died today. You wouldn't because your world lines missed each other. Right. And you can do that another way. You exist at the same time as the truck, but you know we're near each other in location. Right. So what made Zoom and other video conferencing so useful during COVID is that you only had to be at the same time. Right. You didn't have to be at the same place. So you take away one of the components of the world lines. Right. And then many more people can participate. But you are converging at the same place virtually or digitally. So. Uh, 